Another classic cocktail you may have heard of, but maybe you've never tried, is a Manhattan. This is just a basic Manhattan recipe, and again, there's a reason why it's a classic. It's just good. You're probably gonna like it. I'm pretty sure no one knows where the name Manhattan came from. There are books from the 1800s with Manhattan recipes in it, but they have things like absinthe and weird stuff that's not in what we consider a Manhattan nowadays. This is going to be what a Manhattan is if you go to any bar and say, give me a Manhattan. You gotta say it like that. It's like, give me a Manhattan. The first ingredient and the most important ingredient, I don't even know if the most important, but we're gonna say the largest ingredient is gonna be rye. Rye is traditionally what goes in Manhattan, but you can also get bourbon or any other type of whiskey in there. If you want a traditional Manhattan, it's gonna be a rye. And I'm gonna put three ounces of rye in here. And three. The next ingredient is going to be a sweet vermouth. We're gonna put an ounce and a half of sweet vermouth in here. The nice thing about the Manhattan is that sweet vermouth can mix in with the spiciness of the rye and they work really well together. It just looks like a whiskey drink. I mean, look at that. That just looks like a straight up whiskey drink. And last but not least, you need a few dashes of Angostura bitters. Five, probably okay. One, two, three, four. All right, you know, we'll call that. Throw in some ice, stir it up until it's nicely chilled. That feels nicely chilled. You're gonna serve this up in whatever glass you like. You can throw it in a coupe, you can throw it in, well, really whatever you like. I think it's pretty much meant to be served up though. So I'm gonna put it in just a martini glass. And we have a Manhattan. If you wanna throw a garnish on it, some people will put a cherry in there. If you do, don't use those really super red, weird, toxic cherries. Get yourself a good cherry and put it in there. This is a Manhattan. Smells great. Ooh, that tastes great. Yeah, that rye with sweet vermouth is really nice. This is definitely a boozy drink though. If you like boozy drinks, go for it. If you don't like boozy drinks, I don't wanna try something else. So that's it, a classic Manhattan. If you like this recipe, you wanna see more classic recipes, or even drinks we made up ourselves, you should click over there and watch some more videos don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you get notifications whenever we have new stuff coming out. You should also make sure and show up for our monthly test kitchen where we make new cocktails from scratch live on stream where you can help us name things too. You should be there. Hopefully we'll see you there. We'll see you there, right? Right?